All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm starting to try to. I got some new equipment, so I'm starting to try to do the video thing. So just bear with me. Uh, it's been a been a topic I wanted to kind of discuss. Um, that's come up in several places in my DMs, talking to guys, you know, here and there on Reddit, uh, Discord. Uh, Benzie's even made a bit of a video about it, uh, and I just want to reach out and you know talk to you guys. It would have been a lot to write. And I can still write it too if if you guys want to see that when I find some time. But the 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 bigger is better uh, idea, and, and why it, it is so prevalent, and why it exists, and why players are feeling pushed into flying bigger ships. A lot of a lot of players, whether they tell you or not, don't actually want to. I know I don't. I don't, I don't fly battleships. I don't fly. I have no interest in capital ships. None. I, I think I've been fairly vocal about that in the past. Um, and we've all tried it. It's just not our thing. And Captain Benzie's tried it. He, he did some videos where he skilled into a Typhoon 2. And he tried it because the idea that... Well, well, ratting is so prevalent in the game. It's the majority of the game. I've talked about this before. It's the majority of the game for the most part with when it comes across to PVE and uh, a lot of players, we just, we just don't rat. Whether you don't have the time, it's not, it's not your thing. If it's boring, you fall asleep like I do. Um, it's just not your thing. Going out and ratting hours on end, it's just not your thing. And in order to do that well and get and, and reach the goals that guys want to reach the, the monetary goals, you need battleships, you need capitals, you need large ships, that can pump out DPS. You need glass cannons that can pump out DPS and get those bounty ticks as high as you can get them, right? Well, and for the most part, in Eve Echoes, in the development of the game, Netties supports this. Well, they support it largely because they make money from it. And if we're honest, and a lot of players won't be, but if we're honest, most of them aren't actually paying for a lot of these ships with ISK. They're, they're, they're wallet warriors. A lot of them. A lot of them. That's how to get started, at least. And so Netties makes money from that. And that's fine. I have nothing against people who want a wallet warrior or pay to win, as they say. There's no pay to win in Eve Echoes. Not yet, but they, they're definitely working on it. But <laughs> um, that's another subject. But there's, no, there's nothing wrong with playing the game, swiping your card if you want to. Just be very aware of what that actually gives you. And what it takes away. Um, Sheev did a beautiful video, a review, or a, a uh, what do they call it on YouTube? A, a Not a response video, but just kind of listening to somebody else's video and talking about what's going on in that video. Where this player who's playing the new Diablo Immortal, he's, he's, he's pissed off. Game's been out for a week, he's already done, right? Not because it's too hard. Not because there isn't enough content. Now, he's pissed off because he spent thousands in a week on this game that is just released. Hasn't even started fixing the first bugs yet. And he's already spent thousands. He's level 60 in a week, which, frankly, is impressive. It's, it's impressive. Level 60, this guy's grinding his ass off. He's paying for a lot of this. He's spent thousands to get these levels, to get to the proverbial in game right and what a lot of players aren't understanding about gaming nowadays it's just a and, and gaming in general it's about the journey it's about playing the game it's about playing the game it's not about the end if you're just trying to get to the end game you're just trying to end your own fun sooner you're ending your own fun sooner like people will race to get i like t10 ships but there's nothing wrong with Tech 7 ships. Especially when you're talking about cruisers and battle cruisers and even destroyers. There's nothing wrong with Tech 7 ships. I wish the Tech 7 and below frigates were better. We've had this discussion. Just better. Not not they don't have to be great, just better than they are. Viable options. T8, T9, T10, that's fine. Um, but we lose a lot of players. At the T6, T7 level, it's very hard to get them to stay in the game because they feel anxious and ambivalent and 
to be a part of the corp, to be a contributing member of the corp, and they feel inadequate a lot of times while they make this 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 long trek wait to hit T8, to hit T9, to finally get to T10. We well, we've all been there. We had, it was a trudge. It was you have to have a early on dedication to the fact that you're going to see T10. You're going to play this game for the long haul. Most people, most mobile players don't have that. This is the instant gratification generation when it comes to gaming. Mobile gamers, they want now. They spend money and the mobile gaming industry makes a ton of money based on that. They add gambling mechanics and all kinds of other mechanics into the game to uh, predatory mechanics to make money off the fact that they know that. Mobile gamers are a lot of kids, a lot of old people, a lot of middle-aged players, you know, uh, female demographics, stuff like that. They do a lot of demographic studies on all of this stuff. They know who's playing these games. A lot of us came from the console player type games, the PC Master Race type players, and so we kind of say something about the way mobile games are, but that they from right now, they are the way they are. There's a lot of predatory in it, and a lot of these players pay a lot of money to disappoint themselves. This guy downloaded Diablo Immortal. Game's been out for a week, barely. And he's already done level 60, level, like, raced, paid money to race to the end of the game. Didn't even enjoy it. Didn't enjoy it. Made a whole YouTube video where he's pissed off that, it, that, that his experience wasn't what he expected. He had high expectations for in-game content. Mind you, they can add content. When we finish all of the content that's in the game currently, when the bulk of the player base gets to where he is, I don't know, in a couple of months, <laughs> you know, not a week, then they'll probably add more events, add more content. He isn't even waiting for that. He's already paid thousands of dollars for a week worth of play. You guys know me. He's a fucking idiot. But he's he's representative of the bulk of mobile players. They give these companies thousands of dollars thinking that's going to fix the game or fix the way the company looks at the game. No, all it does is make them double down. They see you spend that kind of money to buy all these ships as soon as they come out and they just go, oh, they really like more ships. They really like bigger ships. They want more bigger ships. And that's why the balance patch for all the ships we currently have is pushed back months to release capitals. Because you've told them with your wallet that you just want bigger stuff. Well, how'd that turn out for us? Well, we got enough battleships and capital kill mills in the weekly Eve Echoes report to... Would you know what you never see almost ever in any of those reports? Smaller ships. These big ass ships are tackled and killed in droves weekly. And yet everybody still thinks the answer to their problem is just let me get a bigger one and that'll stop it. No, it won't. You know what'll stop it? Teamwork. Fleet mechanics. Fleet composition. Communication. Using other smaller ships to protect the bigger ships. Just, just you, you guys, man. You, you, and everyone's telling you the same thing. A lot of the, a lot of the talking heads in the communities of all of these games are always saying the same thing. The guys you go to when you want to know stuff, the the, the, the posts you read on Reddit or Facebook when you want to find out something, the guys who you actually listen to, myself, Benzi, other players. The guys who actually talk about these games in depth, go in depth with you on your skill sets, your skill trees, what you want to do, how you want to do it. That's what spurred this on. Now, I'm talking to players and they're all ready to leave the game or quit or, you know, they don't want to, they don't understand or maybe they've done something wrong with their skill trees all banged up because they're trying to follow whales, essentially, into bigger is better. And finding out they're largely inadequate. It's going to take a lot of real life money to achieve this because the, you're not doing it with ISK. Not from T7 to T10, you're not. And they're starting to run into what I've already come to the conclusion of. Most of these players that did this are whales. 
whether they admit it or not, they're whales. They spend countless amounts of money. And the only reason they don't tell you about it is because it's probably foolishly embarrassing. They spend countless amounts of this, countless amounts of real life money to buy what they needed to go do this stuff. They don't actually, not very few, have actually grinded from T6 to T10 and flew, you know, those lower level battle cruisers, cruisers, battle cruisers and battleships to make the ISK to be able to churn out 100 million an hour in in ISK in NOSEC. Very few. Very few have actually done that. I live in NOSEC. I know how it is. You're not doing that. You're not, you're not ratting eight hours straight. Unless you're in high sec, but you're not you're not doing that unimpeded anywhere else. This is why high sec islands exist, because the whales spend money and the devs see that and they say we need to create a place where these we can get these guys to do this one thing without being interfered with. And they did, and they don't care how much we say, hey, he's breaking the game. They're not getting rid of it because they make money because they can get newer players to invest real life money sooner. To stay in high sec. And they don't enjoy the journey. They're chasing a tick. They're chasing a number. They're chasing, I need the biggest bounty ticks. For what? For what? Are you going to take that isk and fly out to NOSEC and build Sov? Takes recruiting. Takes Great FCs out the gate. If you're starting a corp to go to no sec or even low sec, you're starting a corp and you don't have at least two solid FCs, fleet FCs, turn around. Turn around. It takes great FCs. It takes fighters. It takes it takes a lot to run a successful sovereignty alliance. Just an alliance, never mind a coalition. For all that we say about you know, Tahini and Mamasaurus Rex and Michael JD and, you know, all of these guys, even Sun Banana and other guys that have run these giant coalitions and operated these huge alliances, right? For all that we can say about them one way or the other, however we feel about them between the wars one way or the other, those are great undertakings. Those are phenomenal undertakings. They have done a great thing, whether the alliance is around or not. Those are phenomenally large undertakings. It takes a lot of different types of players to make that happen. And if any of those types, those typecasts, those small ship light fighters, those those big battleship, you know, ratters, those miners, if anything's missing, if you if 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 your corp or your alliance or your coalition sucks at any aspect of this endeavor. Well, your alliance won't be around long. If they can't war fight, they won't be around long. If they can't pay for stuff through ratting and mining and industry, if they can't run interdiction, if they don't have any aspect of this giant machine that is called sovereignty, then they won't be around long. So for anybody thinking that they're in high sec right now, just churning ISK, because I'm going to go, I, 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 what's, what's just the one they always say? I'm doing PVE so I can pay for my PVP. Stop. Stop. You're not in a high sec island churning isk so you can go to no sec. Stop. That's like three dudes. That's like three dudes. Clarelum is, was, and will be 200 players deep at any given time of the day of dudes who never leave there. You're not leave. I'm in NOSEC constantly in all parts. And I, there is not a traffic train of dudes exiting high sec once they hit a certain magic number to go to NOSEC and start living in no Stop. Well, you have to get real about this and stop being like so facetious and just ridiculous. Because this is ridiculous. What you're doing is you're not experiencing the game at its true form. You're hiding in high sec. And for some of you, that's actually where you need to be. 
That's the truth of the matter because you haven't had the opportunity to have someone help you. Some of you need help. Some of you need assistance learning how to play the game. You should ask those questions. Some of you do ask those questions. A lot of you ask those questions and good on you for doing that. Get on there, post a question, let people answer you, take the criticism, let someone help you, DM someone of experience, let them help you, ease you into no sex life. Because some of us, we're a little wily. We can get out there and we can wing it and we can take a lick and we can lose ships and without quitting the game. Some of you, that experience is going to make you quit faster than anything. So by all means, take your time, but don't stay in ISEC forever. You're not experienced in the game and definitely don't think because you reached T10 that you've somehow reached some kind of end goal. There's so much to do in this game and so many others. And I hope to see more mobile games like this one. This is a success. Whether anybody wants to, we measure success by population and that's a false number. This is a success for the mobile gaming space. Eve Echoes is a success. If it, if it shuts off tomorrow, it was a success because it's proven that you can do so much more. We can play games from a cell phone. This is an active community of people playing an active, beautiful game. The game is beautiful. The game is beautiful. So you can do so much more. I play, full disclosure, I play Call of Duty Mobile. I now play Diablo, Diablo Immortal. I've been playing Eve Echoes, as you know, for a very long time. And I look forward to playing others. I'm, I'm not a fan of some. Most mobile games are yeah, can be better. Uh, and I hope that developers look at examples like Eve Echoes and take the good from it and make their next game like that. They take examples from the Eve Echoes community. They take examples from the way the game looks, operates, and use that to make their games better. Stop stop churning out quick, quick, quick cash games. Stop the gotcha games. Enough of that. Enough. You're ruining the reputation of market of mobile games because your marketing guys just care about the number. Actually make good content. Eve Echoes has a buttload of content. But a lot of players never see it because they ran the T10 just to get the biggest ship to turn out the maximum amount of is to do nothing with it. To do nothing with it. To do nothing with it. Nothing. Hats off to the people who do something with it. Who go to NOSEC, carve out a chunk of space and fight like hell for it. Hats off to them. I want to see more of that. The fact that Pure Blind is still a big empty space, I love it because I love flying through there. I love getting in fights there. I love like being a scout there and doing anoms there. But for the longest, it has been a big, huge, not huge, but it's a small regional area that is just uninhabited because we are hell in the north and we don't let anybody live. <laughs> but that's besides the point. It's been offered to the community weeks ago and to my knowledge no one's still there there's a number of reasons for that but the biggest glaring one is all the guys who say they're in high sec trying to pve to pay for pvp and no sec are not going it's been offered you're not there go drop solve What are you waiting for? You, you, you pile up the ISK, $100 million an hour, eight hours a day straight. You should have trillions. What's the problem? Yeah, that, that therein lies the problem. You haven't experienced the game. You don't know how to do any of this stuff. You didn't take part in any of this stuff. You hid in high sec, churning ISK that you don't even know how to utilize. Can you? operate a defense corporation can you operate just a regular industry corporation harder than most people think it is especially with insurance can you keep players engaged can you get players to play the game can you even recruit and once you recruit can you retain 
Can you run an addiction court? Well, all you do is just this. The game allows for every type of entity, every type of corporation, every type of idea you can come up with, you can do in this game. You can. But will you do it? A lot of you have piled up enough isk. I've survived in NoSec the entire, since T6, with no more than two, maybe three billion at a time in my bank account, in my wallet. And about, I don't know, 10, maybe 15 billion in ships total. So isk isn't the issue. Getting out there and playing the game. You have to, it's about playing the game. It's not about the journey. It's not about the end game. To my knowledge, there is no end game in the EVE universe. There's no end to reach. There's no final. When you get there, are you going to be happy about it? You grinded all this time to get to this proverbial end game, and you think you're going to be happy about that? I promise you, you won't be. You'll be very, very disappointed. You'll be saddened. Something will be missing from your life, and it is the journey of playing the game. Now log in to to take on new experiences, play the game, and this with all games. Like if Diablo Immortal is cooking up to be some pay-to-win in-game, gonna be disappointed because I am enjoying it. I play it. I enjoy it. I like the story. They did a phenomenal job for, for whatever anybody wants to say about the game. Netties or whoever wrote the story did a phenomenal job beginning portion of the story first 40 levels phenomenal job the voice acting is great for a mobile game right for any game i've seen I, i've seen worse voice acting in actual console games this is phenomenal it's a phenomenal game and people are already down in it because they're saying they're screaming it's pay to win listen pay to win you don't have to swipe your credit card because the event button pops up stop doing that for the love of god stop you, you don't ha if you feel if you feel compelled to swipe your credit card turn the games off go get help you have a gambling addiction that's what that is you don't have to pay for this stuff grinding is playing the game it makes it worth it. If you're going to pay for something, pay for cosmetics. I'm not trying to down Netties making money, but Netties has made a bunch of money. These gaming corporations are not, they, they, they do this thing where they convince you that they're broke. They're not. You can look that up. I hope everyone realizes that. You can look that up. Those companies are not broke. It's a marketing ploy. You suffer from gambling addiction. You listen to it because it feeds your gambling addiction. It gives you a justification to keep doing what you shouldn't be. Stop swiping your credit card for every little problem. You lose a ship, let it burn. Ooh, that sucks. Man, oh, I'm pissed. Don't throw your phone. Log off. Come back. All right, guys, I need another ship. Good God, do not swipe your credit card for that. It is what it is. Good fight. That was fun. It was exhilarating. My heart was pumping. I want to do it again. Leave your credit card in your wallet. <laughs> Stop doing that. I don't know, man. I, don't, I, I didn't want to make this a long video, but in classic Bradrick fashion, I've, I've, I've made it too long and you probably won't listen, right? <laughs> but... Uh, didn't put a TLDR in the front, um, but man, it had to be said, and Benzie's tried to say it in the nicest way possible. He's a professional, man. Sheev's made videos about it. He's a professional. Roger's just a pirate. Dude, put your wallet away. Disconnect your wallet from your phone account. Get it off Google. Stop this madness. You guys are, you guys are complaining about the game being a certain way and don't realize you're causing it to be that way because you keep swiping your credit card and all the devs read from that all the marketing department reads from that behavior is keep doing what we're doing that's why stuff isn't getting fixed like you want that's why ship balance is an issue that's why you're not getting new ships that's why because they're going to keep doing what they're doing because the results monetarily are 
telling them that they're doing the right things. Dudes keep swiping their credit card to fix their problems. That looks like a win to the marketing department. They're going to keep giving you problems that don't get solved by swiping your credit card. They get solved by learning how to play the game, by playing smarter, by using teamwork, implementing fleet composition. All the things I write about, guys, I write it for a reason. Stop. Stop. This is nuts. And, we, and a lot of you, a lot of you are not enjoying this. This is, mobile games is a thing you should be able to, when I go on the road, because I work on the road a lot of times, I do out of town work, right? I work on the road, we get in the truck, I'm, if I'm not driving, because we're, we're, we're carpooling, gas is high, if I'm not driving, we're in the truck, I'm in the back seat or whatever, and I'm just playing Eve Echoes, or I'm playing Call of Duty Mobile, or I'm playing Diablo Immortal, I'm playing a game on my phone, and the internet's cutting in and out, and I'm in the middle of the fights getting disconnected, this, that, and the other, but I'm doing it at two hours at a time. At night, I'll play Faction Warfare, you know, that two-hour slot, I'll jump in there and I'll play that. Or I'll rap with the crew if they're doing something, right? I'll get my battle cruiser out and I'll go support the fleet and do my thing, right? And protect the fleet and all that good stuff, right? That's how you're supposed to play this game. If you got this thing turned on and plugged up to a wall for eight hours on autopilot, ratting, for ticks, you're not enjoying the game. And what that gives you won't give you happiness and enjoyment in the game at the end of it. Those dudes who are in high sec and Clarelum, Clarelum, Clarelum packing in all that is 100 million an hour, yada, yada, yada. Cool, great. Once that piles up, you don't even know what to do with it because you don't know how to play the game. That's why you're stuck there. You don't even know how to enter NoSec without getting got. You don't know what ship to use. You don't even know how to defend yourself when you get ganked in low sec. Because you're not playing the game. You're just, you're, you're playing NetEase's game. Their game is money. Their marketing department game is money. You're playing that game. You're not, you're not, you're not playing your game. You want to rat? You want to be effective to a team? You want to join a corp? corp? You want to go to no sec? Go join an alliance, go join a corporation in NOSEC who needs a battleship rather and who will protect it. Then you're playing the game. Then you're contributing. Then you're helping. Then you're building ships. Then you're fighting in wars. Then you're defending space. You're playing the game then. Hasek Islands, that's playing NetEase's game. And they have no intention of stopping it because you guys keep doing it. Find a recruiter. Find a reputable guy. Find anyone. Hell, I'll point you to corporations that fit your need. I tell guys all the time, DM me, message me. I will point you in the right directions. Every corp isn't for everybody. Every alliance isn't for everybody. That's why there are many. And I mean there are many corps. We can find you a corp that fits you. It doesn't have to be anywhere I am. We can find you someone that it can be with my enemies. I, Bradrick, do, do not care. We can find you a corporation that fits you to where you're playing the game. To where when you log in, it's not mundane button pushing. You're actually engaged. That's all I'd be trying to say. And maybe typing out isn't working, so I'm trying this video thing. But this madness has got to stop. It, there are guys ruining their lives, swiping their credit cards on a mobile game. I'm seeing videos of dudes talking about they had to give their credit card to their wives to stop spending. Stop playing. Go get help. You're giving these people too much money. They make enough. Trust me. They wouldn't be making more games if they didn't. And above all else, fly aggressive.